I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. No, you can't come. Time for a new adventure. Time to set up the lobster traps. You gotta stay here. You gotta stay here. You're naughty. You'll run away. You'll run away. She is still in training for being able to go out into the wild with us. She runs off whenever she sees other people. And holding her leash while we're doing this is not gonna work. I'm sorry, honey, I'll see you in a little bit. Stay. Good stay. Good girl. I'll see you in a little bit. <sighs> so we got the boat all set up. It's time to get the lobster traps in the water and catch some lobsters. I'm so stoked for this. It's been uh, a while since the boat has been working because last year the motor broke down but I got my brand new four stroke Merc on here, which I'm told is gonna to be super quiet. Now, all we need is bait. And when it comes to bait, my favorite bait for lobsters is alewife. There's a nice little place close to home here where there's alewife running up the river just five minutes down the road, and I can always go buy a bucket of bait, but it's a protected municipality by the town of Warren, and so we can't actually dip our own there. And that's part of the fun for me is being able to catch my own bait. The alewife are a particularly tasty fish for the lobsters because of all the oils that are in them, but they're not so tasty if you try to eat them yourself. At least not when you puree them with the Witted Beardsman. Delicious. But if you smoke them for three days the way the Native Americans used to, they're actually really delicious. And the pin bones that are in them, which make it almost impossible to eat if you cook them immediately, seem to melt away and you get this really delicious flavored fish, kind of like a sardine or something like that. Mm. This is good. So we're gonna head up to Gardner, Maine and dip net our own where it's not a protected municipality of the town. The alewife come up the Kennebec River in droves and then they head off on these little offshoots like this one right here in the center of Gardner and they uh, do their little spawning thing. We're allowed 25 alewife a piece, so Sarah and I are gonna see if we can't get on some of those and stock up for lobster season. twice as many. Quick, quick. There you go. Got one. <laughs> oh, I lost him. Pushing out further. And right there. Right there. Right there. 25, right there. Oh look, duck. Come at it from over here a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at the, the alvers. Oh my God. Elvers are the juvenile American eel, or some people call them glass eels. They are super coveted. They sell for like $1,800 a pound last year to the Chinese who raised them for food. But that requires a special permit and it's kind of hard to get one. There I go. Yeah. That is so cool. The fish must just be feasting on those in here. I don't know if the alewife eat those or what, but holy cow, I've never seen that before. I love getting outdoors every time. You never know when you're gonna see something new. Right there where there's that pooling behind the rock. I made it look easier when I did it earlier, but the trick is simple. You gotta be faster than the fish 
and you want to go with the current. So you push your net into the water upstream and then pulling it downstream, at least at 45 degrees, going up the current or across the current means they have enough time to escape you. Downstream and towards you. Too slow. Oh no. Oh no. Well, let's go down with a smaller net and get yeah, back there. Yeah, we can there. attach a smaller net to the longer handle too. We saw some Japanese knotweed as we were going along the river and decided to harvest some of that. It's like rhubarb when it's young. So we're going to make a pie. Sarah made me one a couple weeks ago, and we thought we'd make you guys one today. It's all you. Remember, 45 degrees. Yeah! All right, that's five. Yay. That little net works good. Yeah, it works good. Isn't that nice? <laughs> It's uh, one, two, three, four, five again. turn these guys into lobsters. Let's do it. We made one more stop off in Augusta on our way home to get some pine cones. Because not unlike me, Sarah is a crafter. She used these pine cones to make the most beautiful wreaths that she sells on her Etsy store, Scarlet Smile. Springtime in Maine means trap work for lobstermen, and I decided not to run the big traps that I used last year, so that means rigging up a whole bunch of new traps. So before we hit the water, that means we gotta put together a whole new set of buoys and traps and ropes, splicing lines and attaching them to the traps. And new regulations to protect the whales means you're supposed to add 36 inches of purple to the top of your line and one foot of purple to the bottom, and a middle snap link that allows your line to break in the middle should a whale hit it. Unfortunately, due to high demand, the breakaway link is not available. We have them on order, which means we're allowed to go out and lobster with the traps the way we are with our purchase order until the breakaway links come, and then we'll add those to the traps. Fortunately, Rockport Harbor doesn't see a lot of whales, and we'll be just fine, and the whales will be just fine. But should whales be found with ropes on them, this purple line will allow the conservation people to figure out exactly where they came from and help to prevent uh, whales entangling in lobster trap lines and impeding their, their progress and their fun life. Four more to go. Yay! Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's not even running. I'm so excited. The new motor is so quiet. Already, like, it's unreal how quiet that is. Like, you don't, you don't know, because you weren't out here last time. It was so loud. That old Evan Road was like, Wah! Better start. Almost. 
needs to clean her lungs out. And they're off. I think she's been slipping a gear ever since I bought her the boat here and stuff. And now it's like, I can't wait to get out here and open her up. I'll open her up a little bit right here. Well, I can feel a little bit of a difference between this 25 and the 29 horse had a bit more power, it seems like. But we're fully loaded up with all the traps, so it's hard to say. But it's, as far as noise, it, you, can, you can actually hear yourself think. We froze up some of our air wipes, so we had to unfreeze them because it took us a day or two to get out here. Once the traps are baited up with five air wipes each, it's just a matter of placing them. Normally, I place them wherever I find somebody else's lobster traps, knowing that the pros that are out here working it every day know where the lobsters are. But their traps at this time of the year are way out there in the deep seas and it gets pretty choppy for this little 14 foot pointer so we're just going to put them around the lighthouse where i go. normally place my traps and hope for the best one two three four five That is the last one. Now we just gotta let it soak for a couple days and we'll come back, see if we got some lobsters. All right, we're back out here again and we're gonna haul our first trap of the season. Woo! It is windy, it was a wet ride over here. I don't know why I'm yelling. <laughs> it is cold. trap is so light compared to last year's trap, the bigger ones I was running. The wheels like it weighs like nothing. And it's all that working out since the beginning of the year. Feeling spelt. Oh, it's so light. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. No bait. We might be having crabs, Jonah crabs. Let's save those. They're not very big, but they'll eat. The fact that there is zero bait in here makes me wonder that we didn't miss some lobsters because it's been since Saturday. So sun, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days. There must just be a lot of crabs in here. The other day when Sarah and I took the boat out on the lake, I caught a big chain pickerel We'll stick that in there. Those are fish that uh, some lakes they say uh, don't even put them back in the water. They're uh, kind of a, a monster of a fish, not very friendly. And some leftovers from this winter's ice fishing meal, perch meal, and more of the alewife that we went up and dipped some more of those. Stinker. Oh, you're sitting in the, the soaker seat. <laughs> oh, it's dripping down? Huh? My shirt. It's dripping down your shirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I don't know if there's any point in even wearing my sunglasses. They're just getting soaked. Oh, oh we got some. Ah Look at all the bait that's still in this one too. That looks like a keeper. I can't believe the other one was empty. There must have been a lot of crabs there just going at it. Come on, keeper, 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 keeper. She's a close one. Or he, we'll see. It's a male. Ah, oh, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. So we're measuring them. You hook it over the eye and right to the back here. If it doesn't snap over the back, that's got a good quarter inch uh, play on it. And it's a nice, Beautiful male lobster. You can tell if it's a male when these swim fins right here, their first little swim fins are hard looking. They see those are nice and sharp little blades. Yeah. yeah. And then if it's a female, they'll look more like these ones, kind of feathery. So, yeah. We're good. One lobster. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, hon. Taking one for the team. Now the trick is not to get tangled. You get them back in. We can just get one more, we'll have a tasty dinner. Oh. I think we got one bound up in the rock. Goose it. There we go. Yep, it's free. Ha -ha! Woo! They look small. Yeah, too small. And another boy. Till next time, buddy. Oh. Ah, oh, just snaps over the back. Can't keep it. And Jonah Crab, we'll keep him. They seem to come off one at a time if I just take both hands. Woo! That's a brisk. Woo! I'd say we can eat some of those, huh? Bigger Jonah crabs. That's some meaty claws. Good for you, all this salt. Puts hair on your chest. All right, last one. Look at all the sand dollars. No, no, no. All right, all our lobsters. And a lot of crabs. That was a little tiny. See, this is a girl, no notch, no eggs, and, and it's a keeper. See, there's the female, you can see with the, the difference between the male. And there's those feathery swim fins. We only caught two lobster keepers, but we got a ton of crabs. Now we're gonna head to the backside of the island, get out of this wind, see if we can't cook some up under the sand.
Of course, as soon as we had finished offloading, I realized it's still brutally windy here, and Sarah found a little protected cove around the corner that I had never even seen before. So we pushed back off and pulled in over there. This is gonna be much better. Time to set up camp and get that fire going. Little rose hips are really good in the fall. They actually taste good. I tried one just a minute ago and it's not so good. But if you did need vitamin C, that would be still a good source even though it doesn't taste good. So these are sea peas. I'm sure there's a more specific name for them, but if you come back here in June, these will be edible pods and some of the most delicious peas you'll ever taste. They grow all along the ocean. So my Nana, who lived through the Great Depression on a farm that was already poor, she knew a lot about edibles and she taught me. These are called goose tongue greens. And they're pretty salty, raw, but they're yummy. Um, but if you steam them, they're even better. Remember that knotweed we harvested earlier? Well, we decided to make a strawberry knotweed pie. Now that the fire's burned down after about an hour and a half, I'm gonna move some of this fire to the side so I can cook the pie on it and we'll be able to load up our pit with the lobsters. All right, lobsters are ready. Looks like a little nest. Nest, all right. Oh, Ooh. there goes one of the lobsters right there. Hello, Mr. Lobster. Morning potatoes. Yep. There we go. Alright, so there. Soak the corn in seawater, she says, to get it a nice salty flavor. I've never thought of that before, but. Yeah, just bury the whole mass. Usually my cloth burns a little bit anyway, 
Yeah. And I just reuse it. I think that's why a not such a nylon-y one would be better, like a a yeah. canvas canvas. Yeah, usually I just use like an old tablecloth or something. So there's another one in the basket there. A little seawater from the can? Yeah. Alright. And then the foil? What are these called? These are called goose tongue greens. Oh, maybe they call them goose tongue because they're kind of gritty. Maybe. Like rough. Yeah, just a just a touch, not like bad. Like you do s seem to, you can see it. I wonder what they're gonna do. With. I think they'll be great. I think it's gonna be awesome. I think it's be a magnificent thing. Here's this. So the trick is, I know that this is my beautiful scarf, but I'm gonna use I it. I bought that for you in I Hawaii. Know, and I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it, so I'm gonna use it first. You don't like the Beachy colors? Stuff, no. You picked the colors, but you picked that one out. What? You picked that it's one so the girls didn't have to. Wild for me. I'll wear it then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Go for it. It goes with all the other orange. I don't care. I'll get you a better one when next time we go to Hawaii. Oh, that's gonna burn so much. You got it right on the hot coals. Right there. I guess this is a little close. All right. So now we need that nice thing. I'll probably roll it on top from this, this edge. I can smell that thing burning already okay. over there. So, hey Google, set timer for one hour. Well, we got enough of them in there cooking. A couple of these guys are a little bit smaller, so they get to go go free. And you, you get to be free too. And you too, you're tiny. Woo! Oh. Is it burning? Yeah. Choose your weapon. Ah, oh, hold on. I'll see if I can make them passable. They're pretty bent. They're a little crooked, but if you are very ingenious. I don't know. <laughs> is it pretty? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, 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 just work the crooked. So what's in the salad? Um, violets. Violets. Violet leaves. Okay. Lilac. Dandelion. What'd you make for a dressing? It's just like a blush wine vinaigrette. Oh. With Aren't we fancy? Salt. It smells delicious. No. <laughs> that vinaigrette oh. that you made there. All right. So it's all wild fare. Mm-hmm. Right from Basically. my yard. Yeah, right? Right around my house. Like a flower salad. Mm-hmm. Oh, say grace. Lord, thank you for this food. Bless this food and the rest of our cook. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. There might be some grass in there. Some grass too? Mm, yep. Yeah. Yard salad. Mm. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Tastes better with ranch, but. Yeah, probably would. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> took, a, took away the sophistication if you put ranch all over. Yeah, right. Very fragrant, mm. like not in a bad way, but so the lilacs are almost fully open then, but not quite. Mm. So as soon, another fun thing, my dad was telling me the other day, when the lilacs are open, right, that it's frost-free time, and you can start planting in your outside garden. Oh, I just lost my <laughs> lilac. I got more of them. All right. Timer is going off. It is time to unbury these. Oh, little burn hole. Oh. All right. Ooh, those, even the top of this is pretty hot. Oh, it smells so good. You, you smell, smell that? Mm. Yeah, me too. It's like a real. I smell the pie too. It's actually a good idea to have multiple. Yeah. Ooh. 
multiple layers. Mm. Cause now we can pull it like that and that. Let's see our greens. Oh yeah, look at that. They're all buttery and cooked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll bring that over the table. Whew. You know what, I'll use this thing as a pot holder or something. Oh, look at the reveal. Should we pull off the antenna and make sure they're cooked? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're cooked. Yeah. Oh, they're hot. Oh, the taters, they're just right. They're nice and soft. It's so obvious that like, like how good they are. Oop, bogged right up. Ooh. And that just turn out beautiful. Taters are all soft and juicy. That's gonna be perfect. Let's get everybody out of here. Wow, we made a lot of food. Mm. <laughs> That's a lot. I think we're gonna have some leftovers. We always get carried away, don't we? Like we make like so much food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well we both like to eat. So. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Take this. And our Whoa. pie would cook while we there we go. our dinner. I'm gonna put that there like that so the butter will heat up while we're setting the table. Look at this. Mm. That's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually kind of a bluish color. Yeah, it is kind of a blue. And we got our pie. We got our pie. And a pile of food. Woo! Sun has set behind the hill. It's time to eat. All right. I have mascara all over my face. Mm -mm. Are you soaking me? No. Not good. <sighs> That's good. Mm, sweet. Yeah. It took all the dye out of the violets. They're like whitish now. Yeah. That turned out surprisingly very blue. You want me to spray yours? It's got honey at the bottom. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. I. I believe I have my chopsticks here. A little honey for your honey. <laughs> People are gonna be like, you're right. She should not be in the videos. Just, it, not because she's bad, but because you turn into a disgusting, like, boyfriend monster. Like, saying sweet things and. Obnoxiously sweet. Obnoxiously sweet. So, this is disgusting how sweet you are. Yeah. We can't do this. Uh, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. That's our. <laughs> I'm going to take out my flowers so I can just drink it. Mm. Although they are quite beautiful. I keep trying to take a sip. It's like having ice in your drink. You take a sip and it gets in your mouth. You're finicky. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounds like it, but like. <laughs> Not like, uh, not like some people who are like, so, no, come on, compared to some people who are like, oh, there's bones, and I'm just like, chew right through all the bones and the head of the but fish. But you don't like ice in your water, because you might choke on it. That, oh my goodness, that is so sweet. It's good, isn't that it? That is so good, like I couldn't, because all the flowers, I couldn't get a good sip. Now, what was this? This was the... That was violet. That was the violet, mm -hmm. violet tea? Mm -hmm. This is really, really good. I feel like I want to have violet tea every day. Mm -hmm. All right, violet tea success, salad is success. Um, greens. Mm. Well, they're still good and hot. These chopsticks are a little <laughs> bit of a challenge. <laughs> I know this is the worst better chopsticks I've ever made. <laughs> yep, that's um a lot of Ooh. fiber. You know what it reminds me of? What? Artichoke hearts. Really? The flavor. Mm -hmm. That reminds me a little bit of fiddleheads. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh, I like them. Oh, I like the ones at the bottom. <laughs> Stir them up. Mmm. Because they're just in the butter. Mmm. Oh, sand. Mm. Too softly. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I lived right here, I'd do this once a week. Mm -hmm. Cook these for greens, but I also feel like, just like fiddleheads, some people are like, that's too gamey. Mm. See, I don't find them gamey. I think that it's like a distinct taste. Oh, the taste is mm. spot on. Mm. It's the texture that I think some people would find like. Maybe they're not quite cooked enough or something. They're like still a little super crunchy. I know, I kind of like that though. Now they, they kind of remind me of, um, what are those green beans, French green mm -hmm. beans? Because they do have that texture to them. The outside what is of it the. Is called there? What is it? It's like a fancy, fancy name. Vinegar and stuff like this. No, you're not a vinegar person. I'm not. I like vinegar in uh, moderation. Hmm. I guess we now have a list. I'm finicky because I don't like vinegar. Um. <laughs> lemon. Oh, thank you. Lemon on this. Lemon on fish or beets. So that makes me finicky. A little bit finicky. <laughs> Second course is done. Mm -hmm. um, now what do we go for? Crab claws with hot sauce? Mm. Ooh. <gasps> mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm always like debating whether I like lobster or crab better. What? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Lobster, 100%. Oh, I love crab. Always lobster. Oh, <laughs> getting it all. <laughs> getting it all over me. You know, with it baked in there like that, it's like there's so much flavor. Oops. I feel like we're raccoons now. Yeah, look at that. Mine didn't come out like that. Crab, a little bit of hot sauce. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's epic. These crabs are perfect, right? Mm. They're just coming right apart, like everything. No. I'm not even using tools, I'm just like crunch, crunch, slurp. I want hours more of daylight to just sit here. Nibble. We should have buried some hot rocks under our seats. We could have just sat here in the dark. And like, yeah, like brought a candle. Watch. <laughs> what happens after dark here though, probably raccoons come out like everywhere else. Know. You know? All right, Back well now that we've eaten a crab, we should eat a lobster. Nice and melty, melty by the rocks there because it's still so hot. Oh, dumping it. No, wait, you can't put the tater in yet. Why? Because you got to wait till the butter is all lobstery flavored. Oh, okay. Oh, you can well, I'm gonna eat this. All right, fine. If you're going to do it, then I'm having a piece. Mm. Mm. Doesn't mm. taste as seaweed as I was thinking of. No. Or salty. Yeah, we probably should have marinated them. Maple, wadobo. Mm -hmm. Butter dipped. Ooh. Mm. Good? Mm hmm. Alright, pick your lobster. I just have to try the maple with double. Try that. That <laughs> <laughs> mm. is really good. You can have the bigger one. Oh, uh. The blah! Somebody gave us some delicious lobsters. They were super delicious. And, uh, but they were hard shells. So they're full of meat, which is like really nice to have that. What did you just do? Uh, I like lemon on okay, my lobster. Okay, yeah, yeah. What else? You on don't like it on your on lobster? The, on my lobster? No. Mm -hmm. So that's the toss up, you know, like the. Soft shells are teeniest bit better, but the hard shells are so full of meat and it's so delicious too. Mm -hmm. It's like.
pretty good, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The juice is delicious. <laughs> This isn't a first date thing, you know? No, right, right, right. <laughs> We're out of our honeymoon phase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you weren't supposed to say it like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, right. Mmm. Mm. Tail is my favorite. Mm. Pretty satisfying, huh? Yeah, I like the tail too. I wish I had saved mine for last. And if you're doing them at home, a lobster, a lot of people wrestle with the legs, the little legs, and they spend all their time trying to get it out of the legs and stuff. And uh, the best way to do it is you lay a leg down like this on a, on a cutting board, and when you're done, you take a rolling pin and just roll out the legs. You get all kinds of leg meat out of it. And then you can uh, eat it then and there, or you can t take everybody's lobsters when you're done, roll out all the leg meat, and make yourself like a lobster salad, you know, like a lobster roll for the next mm. day. And just don't tell anybody about it. You got one whole lobster roll for yourself. Mm. Mm. I know, there's nothing quite like corn cooked in the uh, husk. I feel like there's a better flavor to it mm. and stuff. There's something about that. Yeah. All right. Is it good with that? That is really good. That's a thing. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like they could sell that at the uh, fairgrounds, you know? Corn on the cob with maple adobo. Mm. Yum, huh? Mm. Wow. Really good. I mean, we didn't fail on anything there. Mm -mm. I think the pie turned out pretty good. Let's see if I can take a peek at the underside. Uh, we won't look underneath there. Not weed strawberry pie. So it's basically, it's just like rhubarb. So this gives us like a strawberry rhubarb pie. We'll pour the rhubarb's up. And before the strawberries are up. <laughs> I was thinking initially that we were trying to do something kind of um, like sustainable as if this was just stuff that uh, was available now. We've been thinking about that and talking about that a lot here and there because of because of the price of foods going all up and stuff like that. So we've been thinking about like, hey, what can we do? You know, how can we be more mindful and harvest more stuff? And, uh, and at least subsidize some of our food. And I started a little garden in my front room and plants that we're gonna be putting outside in the garden beds. I have a catch and cook garden and uh, and just being more mindful. I haven't really been a huge plant person over the years, but Sarah knows a lot about plants, so utilizing her knowledge. He's to, using uh, me. I'm using her for her plant knowledge. You ready for your pie? Mm-hmm. How is it? <laughs> it's gross? It's really bad. It's really bad? Yeah. <laughs> what, because it's so burnt? It's like smoky and then the knotweed just didn't cook. Really. The knotweed didn't cook? Mm -mm. So we just failed like horribly? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, the... <laughs> so the funny thing was those, as you made one of these a week ago, I can taste the flavor in the knotweed, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's just the, the way it was cooked. I oh, guess. it just smelled, yeah, it just, it just burnt and smoked away in yeah. there. and That's not even edible. No. It looks pretty. It looked pretty on the outside. Well, there you have it. Camera's <laughs> dying. It's getting dark. Um, great, now we have to bring that home somehow. Can we just throw it in the water? I don't even think the crabs will eat it. No. <laughs> Somebody will find that washed up and they'll be like... Ten years from now. What is, <laughs> what is this weird saucer thing? Is that a new type of crab? <laughs> Like the decaying remains of an ancient crab. Now my mouth tastes awful. Ugh, yeah. Wait, where's the the flower tea? I know, maybe that's what I need. Oh, lemon. Mm. Ugh, give me some lemon. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, it tastes like I licked an ashtray or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was bad. Good? I still taste it. It's in my nostrils. Who's messier? I think me, but... Oh, good. No, Look good. at that. Wait, my hand's on you. <laughs> like, it's never going to be the same. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Fowler. Sarah, out. <laughs> lemon on everything. <laughs> I guess, but never gonna it's change a, my mind. Lemon belongs in lemonade. That's a lobster bake thing. Lemon grows with lobster bakes. Never gonna convince me. Mm.